sample is also a proportion, but it's a little bit more complicated. You still can multiply and find the cross products even though the terms are more complicated. This time we have 12 over y minus 3 equals 40 over y plus 4. Same as always, cross multiply 12 times y plus 4 equals 40 times y minus 3. Now we have the same kind of equation that we've worked with before. So first I'm going to find the cross products. Then I approach it just as I did previously, meaning I remove the parentheses, remove the grouping symbols. And then isolate the variable. and I'll have my solution. Using the distributive property, 12 times y plus 4 is the same as 12y plus 48. 12 times y plus 12 times 4 equals 40 times y minus 40 times 3, which is 120. I'm going to move all the y's to the left and all the numerical terms to the right. So subtract the left, subtract uh, both sides times minus 40y. That gives me 12y plus 48 minus 40y equals negative 120. And uh, 12y minus 40y is minus 28 plus 48 equals negative 120. Going up to here, moving the 48 over to the right side by subtracting both sides by 48 equals minus 120 minus 48. y. Okay. Negative 28y equals minus 168. One last step and we'll have this solved. Divide, divide both sides by minus 28. And we have y equals 168 over 28 and you calculate that out and it's y equals 6. So this took a lot of steps, but same basic principles. You start out with your proportion, cross multiply, remove the parentheses, then move all the y's to the left, the terms containing y to the left, the numerical terms to the right, isolate the variable by using addition, subtraction, division, multiplication, all the usual, and then simplify, and it comes out to y equals 6. That concludes this lesson on ratios and proportions. Thanks for watching educator.com.